Hey, what's up everybody? I want to talk about moving um, elements within Revit. It's pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. So if I jump right into it, I've opened up a blank project. All I have is uh, a couple walls and a object in the middle of the room or just about in the middle of the room. And it's just a generic family that uh, um, I created an extrusion. Um, you can use pretty much anything else. Uh, this, the principle will be the same. So the first bit you can tell is when you click on the element, you can see these temporary dimensions. So these are pretty nice. Uh, if you just want to quickly move an element, not necessarily keep the dimension itself, we can see by looking at this dimension here uh, that it's four feet, five inches, um, just about five and a half inches. And we can select it and edit it from there. But say if this was in the midpoint of the wall um, or the, uh, the exterior of it, we can shift it by just clicking on it. We could also drag it to the correct bear with me um, you know for example here if we want to drag it we can see that it uh, drags to this different uh, references within the family itself uh, it doesn't seem to work on walls um, outside of moving it from the center so that works also in the vertical as well but like for this instance you know let's say I want to flatten it out to five feet press enter and I say that's a dimension I want to keep um, we can actually turn it into a an actual dimension that will be on that that page we can come up here and do the same thing let's say it's six feet press enter and I don't want that dimension so now um, it's moved Another way to do it is if we want to actually draw a dimension, maybe there's a specific thing that, that those temporary dimensions aren't showing up. I'm going to tab so I can get the um, interior uh, side of the wall. I'm going to come in on this side of the box. Now to do this, select the box and you can see the text kind of turns blue um, for this one as well. Kind of just, it's just hinting at it that it's editable. So we select it. Um, let's do four nine. Enter. You can see it moved over. And the last bit would be to manually move it. So say if there's a point, and we know we want to move it so we can select the point align it to a specific area on there so maybe point here to the point there and then move it it will move in the direction that we want it to go we'll move it that direction doesn't how, matter how much for example this is three feet four inches is how far my cursor over cursor is over to the right if I now not pressing anything else if I type in the dimension I want um, let's say it was 4.9 um, which I think it was before press enter we can see now our dimension 4.9 uh, same thing from up here uh, it was, uh, can't remember what it was 5 feet I think um, so now that's the other way to do it um, there's not much else you can do. You can get some measurements real quick, but this is kind of temporary and doesn't really do much for you. You can't s select on them. Um, just gives you the overall links pretty quickly by, you know, if you just want to jump from one, one spot to another. It's kind of nice. Um, the whole idea of a, of a a dimension is that it's actually going to live on that sheet and, and the temporary dimensions are just a quick way to help you 
identify if you're placing it where you want it to be placed and if you want to change it pretty quickly without actually placing a dimension on there. Um, so hopefully this helped. Um, please like, share, um, leave a comment uh, if there's anything else you want to learn. Um, thanks a lot for watching.